This spawn used to be a common recommendation for knights, but is it good? Well, this is Greenville. This spawn is located to the northeast of Edron, and all you gotta do is ask for a passage to Cornell. Once you make the travel, then go down the hall northeast and that's it. This cave has 4 floors and I will cover 3 of them for this video. The first hunt will be a combination of hunting minus 2 and minus 3. My lower recommendation for it is of over 130, with the skills of around 100. The way I hunted was of doing a lap across both floors, skipping the southwest of minus 2. And the reason for doing both floors is because by hunting just one, you will overkill, even with low skills. Hunting like this, at a level 175, with the skills 93, I was doing a bit over 1kk raw experience. And with a knight level 155, with the skills 117, I was doing a bit over 1.1kk raw experience. This is decent experience for the level range, but definitely more of an alternative place in the case of overcrowded servers or in new servers. However, what people usually mean for Greenbelt is the last floor. This floor is smaller than the previous, but the spawn rate is higher, so there is no need to do more than this floor. It also has a different design, more of a catacomb with different rooms. The lab for this floor is a bit different, and you need to lure monsters to make some pulls. For the first one, I bring three from the start to the east room. Then open the door and go lure the two werewolves by the north hall. Make sure to close the doors as you go as that makes setting up the pools easier, otherwise they might just aggro to you early. Next up, go south and bring the three monsters to the room of the left. It's better to do it this way because it's easier to bring the two werewolves and the werewolf. Instead of trying to lure out the two werewolves from the other room because they can be a pain to move due to the constant summoning of werewolves. Next up, head north through the hall and lure the one bear north and also bring out the other bear on the east room. Then head south and bring the two werewolves on the hall into the next room. After that, the next pool is south and this one tends to be the worst to set up since it is three werewolves. And there is not much room so the summons get on the way. After that, head west and lure the three boards to this room. You will have to make it so that all five monsters can hit you by placing the three boards on the squares south and next to you. After that, keep going west. I leave this door open so that the monsters come out on their own. Be careful with the damage on this pool, as there can be 7 monsters. For the next one, I also leave the southeast door open for the same reason. And now, back at the start, you can head upstairs to do one pool there, in the case of overkilling. And that completes the lap I do. Hunting like this on a night level 156, skills 117, I was doing over 1.3kk raw experience. And with a new server character, level 192, skills 93, I was doing a bit under 1.3kk. This is much better than the previous floors, but it's still considered a bit low. And the reason is simple, this is not a knight friendly spawn, even though knights hunted the most. And it's because the werewolves and the werewolves both have a spell that reduces your melee skills. And this is very noticeable, especially the lower skills you have. So the best way to work around it a little bit is to save your Utito tempo until they reduce the skills for the first time. And trying to at least get your exotic ground during that for the most damage. I don't recommend to spam the Utito because you will run into mana issues. Another thing you could do is to try to be slower with your casting of spells and try to use them when you see the skills go back to normal. This is not ideal, but it's an option. Lastly, despite the difficulties, this spawn is profitable most of the times. You can make anywhere from 60 to 100k the hour, and if you bring rust removers, there is good chances for unrusting paladin armors. That is all I got for this one, thank you for watching, check out my playlist for more places to hunt, and a special thanks to Tuna Hero, Dorsey Slasher, and Drunken Watson.